I'm giving you bad news again. 99.9% of what you're going through now, you cost it. But what do you do? You blame people around. But the, the only person you can't blame is you. In the book of Matthew, Jesus gave a parable, a story about the ten virgins. Five were wise and five were what? foolish. Nobody make them wise. Nobody make them foolish. But their decision make them wise and their decision also make them what? foolish. So how do you know the decision between a foolish man and a foolish woman is their attitude. Is their decision. I don't care how you dress. I don't care how you look. You are Action. Tell me who you are. So you can claim to be somebody, but when you open your mouth, I will know who you are. The Bible says, "From the abundance of the heart, the mad one speak." How do you know a wise person and a foolish person? Check what comes from their mouth. Foolish people speak without handbrake. Anything that comes to their mouth, they say it. Foolish people speak from the area of emotion. Foolish people speak in the area of anger. I gotta say my mind. I can't keep quiet. Ah, you are foolish. But wise people will say, hold on. If I let it go, I can't take it back. If I say something in anger, it's gone and forever. So, but foolish people don't even think. They just verbalize it. I'm going to say it the way I feel. One thing you don't understand, feeling is just temporary. Feeling is just momentarily. So, don't depend on feeling. Because feeling is what is in the air right now. But after the feeling is gone, you will always regret what you ever want to say out of your mouth. But one thing you don't understand, the moment you let it go, you release ammunition to your enemy. The devil doesn't know who you are. The devil doesn't even know your bank account. The devil doesn't know what is happening in your body. But the moment you open your mouth and release word because of feeling, you have given the devil an ammunition. You have given her an information about you. You wonder why the devil is after you all the time because why you only want empower him every day. Remember, Jesus defeated the devil. He said it is finished. But today we see the devil going around killing a lot of people because why we empower him by allowing our emotion, our feeling, by what people say. We allow those things to prick us us and we voice it and now he has fact so now we blame everybody we blame life because you don't need to because what you gave the word you give the secret of your life that's what the bible said let the weak say i'm what i'm strong it doesn't say you're not weak you are but don't say it you don't know who is around you you don't know you don't know who is watching you so the moment you open your mind and say i'm so tired huh? i'm about giving up on life i don't know whether i'm going to succeed now they knew that you also say you don't know you can succeed so you're giving the enemy the power now to use against you so child of god don't allow your emotion your what you are going through to trigger you to just say things haphazardly the Bible says life and death is where in the power of uh, the tongue. So I am the one that I'm the carrier of life. I'm the carrier of death. Life is not with God. Life is with me. Death is not with God. Death is with me. It's when I open my mouth and begin to verbalize it. You know what I've done? I have given my secret out. Because the devil is an informer. He hangs around us all the time checking what you will say. In Genesis chapter 3, the Bible said the serpent came to the woman and asked her a question. He said, excuse me, ma'am. Did God say 
he shouldn't eat of every tree here he does not even know but he went, he went hard to open her mind he said did God say he shouldn't eat of every can you see the tricks of the devil did God say he should not eat of every why is the word every because why he wanted how to tell him the, 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 the secret and the woman said, no, God didn't say that. God said, um, we can eat of every fruit in this tree. But this one, God said, we shouldn't touch it. Because why? If we touch it, the day we do, we'll die. The devil said, I got you. That's all I've been waiting for. I'm glad you told me. Therefore, I'm going to kill you. I will like you. I will make you eat it. She killed herself. She just killed herself. You know what the devil said? The devil is not stupid. He's clever. The devil said, okay, can I give you good news? Then he said, yeah. He said, God does not really mean it. He said, what? He said, I know him very well. I used to live with him. I was a worship leader. I was the nurse in command. He jokes too much. He said, really, I know him. I know his bedroom. I'm always around him. So really, you know him? Yes. I mean, I'm just coming from him right now. And he told the woman, the day you eat, you'll be like God. Oh my God. <laughs> what? You see, he was able to deceive her and they died spiritually. Who killed them? They killed themselves. So can I give you good news? Let me start from bad news. Do you know who is killing you? <laughs> Do you know who's after you? You are saying, talk to me. You are saying, <laughs> why are you blaming me for your problem? You are killing yourself. Oh, I'm broke so much. I don't know. Oh my God. You say you are broke.